you can't compare for me you can't compare any country in africa with botswana because with our country we are facing a challenge of galamse illegal mining and, mm. and how they manage their diamond what can you see about it in this country there's nothing like illegal mining never it can never happen in this country they are in control of the mines botswana is about four times the size of ghana that you can drive from here to the north to the east to the west and all the roads are perfect and i must tell you you meet a minister you meet a, they are big guys they say, oh i was taught by a Ghanaian. everyone sings that song what are some of the business opportunities here to those who love to invest in botswana not only Ghanaian, but also uh, people out there our clothing mm -hmm. the shea butter business uh, timber, timber. Mm. and then when we come to coco you know we have a lot of coco in terms of a visa is it easy to come to Botswana? because some people say it's not easy coming to the country here it takes 14 working days to work on your visa okay. mm. so because ghana is going to the poor your message to ghana is out there vote wisely mm. you don't gain anything fighting ghana is a peaceful country let's maintain that peace we welcome you to Lorato TV. If it is your first time, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share our videos with friends, loved ones. Uh, today, we are happy to have one of us. I shared with you that uh, we have an interview with our general consul in Botswana uh, to give you his perspective as far as the success story of Botswana is concerned. So now he is in our midst. Uh, I don't want to keep you guessing. So I'll allow him to introduce himself to you. First of all, you are welcome. Thank you very much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for some time now, <laughs> we have been planning to meet, but mm -hmm. it has not been possible. But here we are now. Uh, those out there, mm. my people out there would love to know you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my name is uh, Solomon okay. Opari Kumi. Okay. Uh, the title is the Honorary Consul. Honorary so Consul. The, the okay. Honorary Consul of Ghana okay. to Botswana. Okay. Yes, that is my title, the okay. right title. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, so mm -hmm. we'd love to know those out there watching also from Ghana. We'd love mm -hmm. to know, ah, which part of Ghana is mm -hmm. honorable from? <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, I come from... You know, you are tempted to say a village, but yeah. that is this country. <laughs> yes. But this country to be like a village, but it's a town. Okay. Uh, it's a big town. I'm from Enum okay. in the eastern region. Mm. That is where I come from. Okay. But I lived all my life in Accra. Accra. Okay. Started from Bema Camp. My okay. father was a soldier. soldier. Okay. He was a soldier in the army, mm. the Ghana army. Mm. We stayed there for so many years. I went to school in the uh, uh, Bema camp. Okay. And then from there went to school a little bit in my village, okay. in my town. Okay. In Enum, I went to Enum Boys School for two years. Okay. And after passing my coma entrance, I left there and went to school at uh, Aquinas Secondary School, okay. where I did my... Uh, uh, form one to form five. Okay. Then I did my sixth form in Kufuldra Sec Tech. Okay. Uh, Kufuldra Sec Tech is where I went to. Okay. And then from there I went to Tech. Oh, okay. And did geodetic engineering. Okay. After that I worked with Irrigation Development Authority mm. uh, for about fourteen years before I came to Southern Africa. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's just a wonderful uh, brief background. So, uh, if we can ask, when did you start entertaining the idea of becoming what you do now? I actually never entertained okay. the idea. I never knew that okay. I'll, I'll, I'll be here. Mm. Uh, what happened was that uh, I was in this country okay. and I um, uh, I had formed a company, okay. an engineering surveying company in this country. Okay. And um, uh, whilst here, I was nominated as the, the chairman of the Ghanaian Association in this country. Okay. So I held that position for some years. Mm -hmm. And uh, when the, uh, the person who held the position of the Honorary Council of Ghana to Botswana left, okay. the position became vacant. Mm -hmm. And 
actually I was approached mm. to apply mm. and eventually I was convinced because after working with Ghanaians for about te 10 years, mm. you know, being the chairperson of the association, you know, the, the issues yeah. that normally confronts you. Mm. And so I felt that it was time to rest mm. and uh, not to get in, uh, involved in the issues that come every day. Mm. But then, the, our, our ambassador in Namibia mm -hmm. approached some of the elders here to convince me. Mm -hmm. And that made me, okay, finally applied uh, for the position. Okay. And it took some time, uh, almost four years. So I was acting, actually. And then it took about four years before the approval came. Okay. Because the government of Ghana has to nominate you and approve you and the country Botswana also would have to you know uh, do their due diligence mm. and appoint you mm. onto that position mm. because you are representing Ghana here mm. we don't have an embassy here mm. so we have the consulate of Ghana okay. in this country and uh, it is where we have uh, the, the high commission that we have an ambassador. Mm. Our ambassador stays in, the, Namibia. in Namibia. Okay. So in this country, I'm, I'm fully in charge of what happens and I report to mm. Namibia okay. high commission. Mm -hmm. That is how it works. It works. Yeah. So, um, thank you very much for that insight. Um, so what is the, the, the name of our ambassador there? In Namibia? Uh, it's called Al Hassan. Our ambassador in Namibia is called Al Hassan Yakubu. Okay. Yeah, okay. Al Hassan Yakubu. Okay. Yeah, he's the ambassador mm. of, of, of Ghana to Namibia mm. and then accredited also to, to Botswana. Botswana. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. Um, so, for how long <clears throat> have you been, been helping us here in Botswana? <laughs> I was actually appointed mm. in. Um, uh, 2011. Okay. So it's been a long time mm. that uh, I've been occupying this position, mm. and uh, maybe it's, it's time for me to move out, and <laughs> uh, someone else comes in to take over the uh, the I position see. because it's never it's never been an easy position. Mm. Mm. You see, a country where. Whilst I'm here, you know, everything that goes on, I'm supposed to represent yeah. the country. Yeah. So you go to all functions and everywhere you are there, uh, coupled with the issues of Ghanaians mm. in this country, uh, seeing to their passports and um, uh, issues like marriage issues, mm. you know, they need a letter from me mm. before they can marry in this country. Mm. To, to prove that they are not married yeah. and uh, we need to do that in this office. Um, so many things yeah. and uh, uh, I've been approved to, to issue visas mm. to uh, non Ghanaians who are traveling from here to Ghana. Okay. So that responsibility too is there. But yeah. I must say that uh, it's, it's a very difficult and heavily loaded uh, uh, responsibility because uh, uh, in this office then you become like a, a marriage counselor where they, they have to consult you when couples are having problems. They are always knocking on your doors. You know, uh, you become even a, like a lawyer because people are owing people, Ghanaians are owing other Ghanaians and they come to your office and they try to resolve the problem. You can't yeah. tell them to go. Oh, yeah. To go, you have to entertain them and try to, you so know, solve the problems. And you know, those also who wants to marry would come. Maybe a Ghanaian in the U.S. have found a Botswana woman wants to marry. They they call on me, and most often they are their families, their parents will write to me and say, "Help my son to mm -hmm. marry." Mm -hmm in this country mm. so the issues are many yeah and we do all consular mm. services 
in this country. I'm appointed to do all the consular services in this country. Mm. So it's, it's, it's not easy. Yeah. It's, it's a very difficult task here. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very much. I think you mm -hmm. just summarize even what you, <laughs> you do here, mm -hmm. just briefly, as you try to yeah. uh, tell us more about yourself. And I must say that uh, we have to really applaud you because uh, well, since we came, you know, I came personally, I can speak for myself. And my brothers also, you mm -hmm. know, you've been so, you know, approachable, uh, very amiable. You come in and wherever you are, you say, no, no, I'll be at the office and then you have to sacrifice and come here. Not only that, even at the peak of the COVID, you know, you being there for Ghanaians, helping them when someone dies, you make sure that the person is, those who love to go home, you know, be taking home from other Ghanaians, <clears throat> listening to them, you know, talking about you, we can say that you've really, really done well. And uh, may God continue to bless you in that regard and for all that you do for us. Uh, you may not know how, <laughs> how much you, you are of service to us but i have to tell you today that you have really 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 um, of service to most of us being a father for us uh, thank you very much uh, and also let's 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 come to other aspect give us from your perspective since you arrive in this country what can you say about botswana well botswana to answer this question maybe i have to make a statement mm -hmm. before answering this question okay, okay. A lot of people know me in Botswana, mm -hmm. and a few people would ask me, mm -hmm. oh, when are you going to your country? Mm -hmm. You've stayed here for a long time. Mm -hmm. Then I would tell them that I have nowhere to go. <laughs> I, I, I mean, yeah, Botswana. <laughs> I, I, I love this country. Yeah. I love everything about this country. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's a very cool country mm -hmm. and a very lovely country. And uh, the people are nice, and uh, you can't compare. Mm -hmm. For me, you can't compare any country in mm -hmm. Africa mm -hmm. with Botswana, because the population is very small, and because the population is very small, it's very peaceful mm -hmm. over here. Traffic, there's nothing to talk about. Traffic is just about 10 minutes that uh, you have to go through mm -hmm. and you at the other end so botswana has been a home for me for all these years that i have lived here for about 26 years it's been a home and uh, even though home ghana is home yeah. that one there's no comparison <laughs> with our home yeah. but botswana is a country that you love to live in because it's so peaceful and uh, you see, the system works in, 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 in Botswana. The system works in Botswana. So the, I must say that uh, if you not be law abiding, then you cannot live in Botswana. In Botswana. Yeah. You've got to be law abiding and you will never have any problem in Botswana. Yeah. I don't know whether I've answered the mm. question. Mm -hmm. And you know, economically, mm. It is a, a country that the economy is very yeah. good. And, um, you know, here, I always say that uh, we have the best of meat. Mm. The best of meat. I, I invite all of you, just taste Botswana beef and you will not eat <laughs> any other beef in this world. <laughs> Botswana beef is the best. So the beef is exported. It's exported to the EU countries and other places. Uh, this beef a lot of people have come to my office uh, to see to read that we export them to ghana we are working on mm -hmm. those issues okay. and uh, uh, we'll do that mm -hmm. you know one of my my, my assignments as the honorary consul is to attract investment mm -hmm. to ghana mm -hmm. and so uh, we're trying to do that we've sent uh, investors there, they've gone looking around. Personally, I have sent, uh, uh, I've gone with, with, with investors to Ghana okay. a few times. Mm -hmm. And people have responded. Mm -hmm. And even the universities, private universities, are moving from here, from Botswana, to establish in Ghana. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm talking in particular of um, uh, Botho University. Okay. And very soon, in a week or two, they are inaugurating that university in Ghana no, no, no. at East Legon. Mm -hmm. So 
we, we are doing a lot mm. when it comes to attracting investment mm. to Ghana from Botswana. Mm. Yeah, they are, they are made, the, the, one of the main economy is, is the diamonds, yeah. uh, which uh, uh, gives them a lot of uh, leverage yeah. to, to be able to be where they are. Yeah. And I've been to almost all the big mines here and what I have always been saying is that uh, uh, I wish my country also come and see how they are doing it. They are managing it. It's so perfect. Security-wise, everything is so perfect that I just admire the systems, the systems in the mines. Yeah. So nice that uh, I wish almost all African countries would come and emulate yeah. what they are doing here. Yeah. It's perfect. Thank you for promoting Botswana. <laughs> yeah, so that is a very, very insightful for promoting Botswana and doing your work as honorary consul. Uh, that's very, very good. And being here, and as you said that you were at most of their mining you know, sites, um, looking at how they manage their, they go about their business. And comparing to Ghana, you know, as you said, uh, that you, you will love our people to also come here and learn, especially with our country, we are facing a challenge of Galamse, you mm. know, illegal mining and, mm. and, you know, almost everywhere. <clears throat> How they manage their diamond, what can you say about it? Now it's benefiting their, you know, school for free education, mm. free health care and all of that. Yeah. What, what can you say about that? No, what... Mm. I can say is that in this country there's nothing like illegal mining. mining. Mm. Never. It can never happen in this country. Mm. It can never happen in this country. Mm. You know, they are in control of the mines okay. and what happens in this country. Mm. And that is why the government, you know, commits mm. a lot of money into free education, like you said. Mm. You know, Botswana is about four times uh, the size of Ghana, yeah. but you can drive from here to the north, to the east, yeah. to the west, mm. and all the roads mm. are perfect. It's because that they have used their resources well, well and they are still using them mm. well. So, uh, if if we can go the line of uh, how Botswana has used its minerals mm. to to develop. Mm the country i think will go far also mm. and it's time we stop illegal mining mm. in ghana so that you know the whole country will benefit yeah. this uh, what they are doing goes into private pockets yes, and yeah. foreigners pockets and things but we want something done that would benefit the people the, people, mm. the whole country mm. And that's what we look forward to. No, that's, that's very good because uh, I really love how they manage. <laughs> they are managing you mm. know, their resources. Mm -hmm. And then we, with their policies and everything. And mm. Because the same mir uh, these resources other African countries also have. But then mm. you see that it's, instead of that becoming a success story, it's a mm. case. Yes. And um, fighting yes. And, yes. and poverty rate, inequality mm. gap. Just mm. as you said, just going to individual pockets. So mm. we really, I really appreciate that. I really love mm. what, what they are doing mm. here, which is very, very a mm. plus for us as Africans. And I think all African countries should come in, to, to, especially areas where they have this um, minerals mm. they can come in and learn and from learn Botswana. From Botswana. Yeah. yeah that is a, so since you have started this work what has been some of the challenges mm. you have faced so far yeah, the the challenges are almost everywhere mm. where Ghanaians are mm. to embassies and cons consulates mm. and it comes with people who overstay mm. okay in, in this country mm -hmm. and it becomes a problem mm -hmm. what I've always been saying is that uh, you've got to be law-abiding yeah. we just don't want Ghana's name to mm -hmm. be spoiled let me say that you know wherever you go in this country if they identify you as a Ghanaian mm -hmm. unfortunately I didn't bring my badge. my badge here mm -hmm. but the moment they see that you are a Ghanaian they respect you 
and they will tell you how much how much Ghanaians have really helped this country when it comes to education. education. Yeah. Teachers. A lot of teachers came here. And I must tell you, you meet a minister, you meet a, they are big guys. They yeah. say, oh, I was taught by a Ghanaian. Mm -hmm. I was taught by a Ghanaian. Everyone sings that song. Yeah. So we we'll try to maintain a level of respect and not getting involved with the law. Yeah. Well, fortunately, we Ghanaians, they don't hear of us. If somebody overstays, the person has to leave the country. Yeah. And if, if, if you don't have the money to leave, in the, uh, leave the country, you have to be booked okay. in okay. and locked up yeah. until if there is money, mm -hmm. then they take you out. <laughs> but for us Ghanaians, quickly, we try to, we, we try to find ways you know, and, find and, ways and means to, 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 to help, mm -hmm. to help uh, and to get, uh, what do you call it, uh, the ticket money and things to, to, for them to go as quickly as possible. Mm. So it becomes quiet. Mm. Uh, I, I've been going to the prisons mm. every year mm. to check mm. whether there are Ghanaians there. But you go there, you don't see even a single Ghanaian in the prison. That's good. And the officers will tell you that, uh, oh, here we don't have Ghanaians. There's not a single Ghanaian in the prison, which is a plus for us. Yeah. And... Uh, and I think that uh, uh, because the Ghanaian Association in Botswana also do talk to the people, please avoid trouble, avoid this and that and that. But definitely you will get a few that uh, <laughs> will be having problems. Yeah. It's, 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 with human, yeah. it's part of human, yeah. human life. Yeah. But not much. Ghanaians don't give problems mm. in this country. Mm. No, I, I, that one I can assure you. Uh, I must say that uh, uh, most often when people are in difficulties and they will call me and say, Daddy, what should I do? And they want advice. And we do advice here and there so that uh, our, our name, Ghana's name, will still remain that high. Yeah. And the respect that they have for Ghanaians. We still have a few uh, professors and uh, uh, teachers in the country. Yeah and they are doing their best and i always tell people that uh, uh, this country is such that if you don't have a profession yeah. don't come yeah. you can't be in this country if you don't have a profession because it is not like other countries where you can get job sweeping <laughs> job and those things no you have to go through them no you have to go to labor everything yes. has to be it, it doesn't <laughs> work that way in this country so yeah. most of the people who are here are professionals yeah. and those in trade like hairdressing uh, maybe some mechanics yeah. and and um, yeah mechanics yeah. hairdressing yeah. and what have you few of them, yeah. yeah a few of them but yeah. something that they can do yeah you know with yeah. their hands yeah. but not walking about to yeah. do aimlessly minia <laughs> jobs. jobs no it doesn't yeah. happen in this country yeah. so my advice is anyone who comes to you and tells you that there's work in Botswana, so come check yourself, <laughs> ask yourself, what do, what do I have to offer mm. to that country? Exactly. Yeah, before you move. Mm. Otherwise, don't move yeah. to this country. Yeah, because yeah. a lot, a lot of people have been, these days, they call and say, no, I would like to come to Botswana. Mm. Like, then I'll be mm. like, what are you coming to do? Exactly. <laughs> I exactly. was telling that about some, the system is such a way that before you do something, they will, you have to go to the labor office if yes. you want to work. Yeah. And the uh, system is not like mm. where Ghana, sometimes people just come in and they can hide somewhere mm. and then do some minor job. No, Botswana, you have to go through the process. Exactly. And even the person who is going to employ you, if you realize that you don't have what it takes, they are not going to, so that they also mm. don't put themselves in trouble. Yeah. So if you are watching us, that is it coming mm. from uh, yeah, our father here, that uh, if you want to, you, you listen to him carefully. If you are coming to Botswana, know that you have something to offer and uh, the system is such a way that as he said the systems here the, the system work so you can't come in and say no no i just come into botswana and to do what so make sure that you come you come to botswana you are ready to also offer something offer something to the development of the country also that is yeah. what um mm.
And also, like you were saying, also um, in your, your our discussion, you said that uh, part of your work is to promote, you know, uh, Botswana also, and also uh, that of our country. What are some of the business opportunities here? So those who love to uh, invest in Botswana, because our president recently says that uh, he, he opens the doors are open for investors. Uh, do you have some in mind? Some of the things people can come in to invest in. Not only Ghanaian, but also uh, people out there. Well, it's a bit difficult mm. when you talk in terms of uh, Ghana's mm. investment mm. in Botswana. Mm. Uh, because uh, uh, what are we going to promote? That's the first question you mm. ask yourself. Mm. What, is, what are we promoting from Ghana mm. to this country? Mm. And uh, there are a few areas that we can... Uh, invest, but there are small investments. Okay. You know, we talk about our clothing mm -hmm. that uh, trying to, you know, bring our clothing here. It's a big area we, we, whereby uh, people are so much interested now in wearing African fabrics. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so in that area, it's okay. Now, the other areas that you can think about is the share butter business that can flow in from uh, from Ghana to Botswana and into the the other areas here. So we're talking about you know maybe establishing factories uh, that when you bring this uh, uh, share butters you add value to them and and you process them and sell them that one it will do very 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 well mm -hmm. yeah one other area that we can also think about is the uh, timber, timber. Mm -hmm. the timber industry mm -hmm. we don't have wood here yeah. it mainly comes from other, other places mm -hmm. and uh, you, you you see these uh, office tables and things you know they are all not very very good wood mm -hmm. that we have mm -hmm. in ghana yeah, yeah that they have here normally they are uh, pressed yeah the sawdust, yeah, sawdust which yeah. they they sell and those things mm -hmm. and ghana we have good wood for 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 office things for domestic for industrial for for construction so one can establish that the flow of uh, timber into this country okay. and i believe that it will be a, a, a very big um a, a very big thing here oh, okay and uh you go to other countries like europe and you go to their grocery shops yeah. and you see ghana pineapple displayed mm. and you wonder the price mm. but people run for, it. No. for the pineapples and our pineapples, pineapples are so good mm. And then when we come to cocoa, mm. you know, we have a lot of chocolate cocoa. Chocolate and all of that. Chocolate yeah. and, uh, Milo. Uh, you know, yeah. I mean, you go as far as uh, South Korea and you see chocolate which had been written Ghana chocolate. Mm. So it goes far. Yeah. And everything about Ghana chocolate or anything, it's appreciated mm. and people buy them. Mm. So we can look at some of these areas mm. And people can come in, bring factories here, manufacture chocolates and things here. You bring the raw material here, not bringing the chocolate there. Yeah. We also want to help the economy here. Yes. So you bring them here so that labor, yeah. you get labor and here. The rate also go down. Yes, yeah. you bring the, the, the raw materials here then. Uh, we have a lot of labor here yeah, also. Yeah. It's not a problem. Yes. So they can also be employed, mm. you know. And also you can also use the uh, cocoa also for, uh, what do you call it, some wine. You have in Ghana, yes. you use cocoa for yes, wine. for wine. And they love for wine here. For liquor. <laughs> yeah, for liquor. liquor. Strong yeah, wine. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, we have a lot. Mm. We have a lot of things that yeah. uh, we can push here. So... I try to encourage uh, Botswana to to just go to the country. Mm. You know, you want to invest. What do you want to invest in? Yeah. 
we don't want you to go and invest in uh, uh, Galamse. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> but we want you to go and do something better. Mm. Yeah. But then go to the country, visit the country, look around, and then you get something that you want to invest in. Mm. So it is with our Ghanaian brothers and sisters. They can also take a holiday and come. Exactly. And, and, and stay here and see what they can bring mm. also to this country. People from other countries, please, you know, as a tourism mm. is very good in this country. Mm. So come and see what we have. Mm. The big five, you can't find them in other countries. But here you see the big five, you know, the elephants and all those uh, animals that um, you can't find anywhere. Mm. So when you come as, as really investigating yeah. uh, where you can invest, you come also as a tourist and see what is here. And you can even form tourist companies in Ghana, in your countries, and you bring the people. Yeah. To Botswana. Mm. And that is how we have to support African countries. We've got to be one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Thank you very much. And uh, for giving us the business ideas. And especially those of you who are watching us and asking us uh, a question always right in the comment section that, okay, I'd love to come to Botswana. What are some of the business opportunities you heard from our father and some of the opportunities here in Botswana? Um, so come, come, come and visit Botswana and uh, your life will never be the same. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and as he said, if you want to actually come in, it's always good to come and as a tourist, you know, mm -hmm. and then explore the opportunities yourself also to have a feel of the culture, the environment before uh, moving all your stuff here. <laughs> very, very important. Uh, in terms of uh, visa, is it, is it easy? to come to Botswana, because some people say it's not easy coming to the country. Is it easy coming to Botswana? <clears throat> well, you know, the visa uh, issue, mm. it's something that uh, we really need to talk about. Mm. Here, it takes 14 working days to work on your visa. Okay. So it's either you let the people in Botswana whom you are visiting to apply here for you, that is for visiting visa, if you are visiting, coming with visiting visa. Yes, visiting visa. visa. Mm. Or you go onto the internet. They've got the e-visa. They've got the e-visa also. You can go onto the internet mm. and apply on the internet. Okay. And you will get it. Mm. But you should know, like I said earlier on, they will look at what you are coming to do, who you are coming to visit. visit. And you should know that you can't come and visit somebody here who is not even in the system who is an illegal immigrant <laughs> it's it's going to be yeah. very very yeah. difficult yeah. so so they will scrutinize your your visas mm. and check they want to make sure that the country remains good as it has been all the time mm. so botswana is a sovereign state yeah. and every state has its own way of assessing yeah. Uh, visas and whether to give or not. Mm. So it's it's an area that uh, it's the is the, the country that can decide on what it is. We can't say that they have a difficult mm. uh, visa system. system. No, mm. you, you no. Know, they, they want to make sure that the right system. people come into this country also. Yeah, to um, add value. To add value, not <laughs> to not to come and give them exactly, problems. Exactly. It's a very peaceful country, and we don't want problems yeah. here. Yeah. So, yeah, that's it. Because uh, <laughs> the other day we were discussing, someone came, and, uh, the, the one who came from US, mm -hmm. he wanted to get a, a SIM card. Mm -hmm. and they said, no, you have to go to the law, <laughs> you know, the factories. He went there to the, where to secure the SIM card. And, mm -hmm. No, you have to do this, you have to do that. Mm -hmm. And he was frustrated. And I was telling him that, ah, do you want a situation where other African countries, someone calls you and scam you. <laughs> so mm -hmm. here they are checking everything to yes. be sure. Yes. So that is Botswana for you. You have to get a SIM card with your passport. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. But in Ghana, Ghanaians, uh, some, you, you know, we have from, the same system. Yeah. If, 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 you have to uh, get a SIM card, you register, you, Ghana card. you have to register <laughs> and now you have to use your Ghana card, you know, yeah. because your Ghana card, you are in the system, they yeah. know who you are, yeah. who this number belongs to, yeah. everything about you. Yeah. 
so that you can't fool with your, your, your phone and scam people. <laughs> yeah. You'll be found out. Yeah. It's so in this country. Yeah. So uh, you, you've got to do the right thing. You have to register. You don't buy SIM cards on the street. No. Yeah. You have to go to uh, the right vendors yeah. to get your, uh, your SIM card. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and uh, those Ghanaians who are watching us, or other people who are watching us would love to come to Botswana. What would be your advice to them? It, because in the discussion, you said that we have a very high you know, reputation here in Botswana. So what would be your advice to them, those who are coming in? Well, my advice to them is that uh, come, but know that this country does not harbor people with that profession and thinking that you are just coming here to hustle. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work in this country like that. So don't ever be deceived that you can come into this country just to come and hustle. Mm. Yeah. And um, but mind you, the population is not big. Our population is about only 2 million plus. Mm. It's a very small population. So when you come and you want to misbehave, you'll be found out. <laughs> yeah. So don't come. Mm. Yeah. But... It's, it's a very lovely country that uh, when you come also, you would want to be coming here and be coming into this country properly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, properly. So come, come see Botswana. Very quiet place, uh, lovely place, nice places to go. Mind you, when you come here and you see, uh, I confirm, <laughs> I confirm that's guinea fowl, eh? Yeah. You don't kill them. <laughs> if you are found out, be arrested. <laughs> you'll be arrested. <clears throat> and uh, yeah. we don't do that here mm. unless you have a special licenses to be able to hunt down yeah. any bird or animal. Mm. So they are here and it's, 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 it's beautiful to, to, to see them, yeah. you know in the world, you know, yeah. walking around. How yeah. is the Ghanaian community doing here? <coughs> what are they doing? Ghanaian community, not doing bad. Some have gone into, they've attained their citizenship here. And once you have citizenship, you can do a lot. Okay. Then you are part. Mm -hmm. Because now globally, we're heading towards a place where if you are not a local, you don't get certain jobs. Yeah. That is a, a fact. Yeah. It's happening in almost every country <clears throat> but otherwise everyone is doing his best mm. to survive mm. we have some similarities you know when you talk about democracy in this country mm. in in this african continent mm. you know botswana comes very high yeah. ghana also is is there mm. and uh, we need to maintain that for that respect yeah. and how i wish that uh, Botswana and Ghana will do a lot more, yeah. a lot more. We look forward to um, presidential visits and all that to elevate the two countries. Yeah, relationship. It, yes, the relationship in, in, in this African continent. I didn't get your final words also mm. because Ghana is going to the pool. Your message to Ghanaians out there. <laughs> yeah, Ghanaians are going to the pool and yeah. uh, what we can say is that mm. vote wisely. Mm vote wisely yeah. uh they said your vote Count. counts a lot <laughs> yeah. and it, it is you who puts governments mm. you know in power yeah. and all that will say that vote wisely and it, it, you don't gain anything fighting yeah. you know during election times some people would urge you will push you to that point but please don't listen to such people. Mm. Ghana is a peaceful country. Yeah. Let's maintain that peace. Yeah. And it's all over that we are very democratic and we elect those that we want to be in power. And may we continue that which we started way back. Yeah. Let's continue that way. And I believe that would take Ghana very far Thank you. and the respect will be there. I must say that there are a lot of conferences that goes on in Ghana. Mm. Why? Because it's peaceful yeah. in Ghana mm. and they go there and come and they are so excited mm. about going to Ghana. 
so let's continue to make sure that there's peace all the time peace in the country if you vote for your party and your party doesn't win just support yeah. the the party that comes in to rule and make sure that things are okay in the country what will be your mm. final words to, to those out there <clears throat> my, my final words mm. it's mainly to we the Ghanaians mm. stay in this country that we, we keep the Ghanaian flag high, high high and high and high yeah the respect that Botswana has for rats let's continue to do the right things in this country and remain respected in this country yeah. that will be one advice that I will give and like I've said I'm inviting or encouraging all businessmen in Ghana to just come come see what is here what I say is that look mm. when people come into this country as, as visitors it brings in money yeah. because when they come definitely they'll be going to the shops yeah. They'll be buying for friends and relatives back home. Yeah. So as, as we extend our hand to them to come see how beautiful our country is, we should also know that uh, we'll benefit yeah. in this country. Yeah. We'll keep the shops open at all times. And uh, you, you know, when Ghanaians come to this country, all the corned beef gets finished <laughs> in their shops because Ghanaians will love corned beef yes. and I must say that uh, the corned beef in this country is the best. Yeah. <clears throat> I took investors to Ghana, I took Botswana to Ghana and they wanted to invest in exporting corned beef from here and smartly I, I like the way Ghanaians are very smart and mm. brilliant. Mm. When we gave them the samples the next day they came with the results. Mm. They've gone to pick almost all the corn beefs that were in the system and tested them mm. in the laboratory to see the, uh, the salt content, to see this and that and that, and Botswana corn beef came top. And therefore. You see? Mm. So <clears throat> that's an area where, you know, we can really explore, uh, explore mm. also. And so they come here and they buy almost all the corned beef mm. in their shops, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So what I would advise is that BMC should continue to produce, <laughs> produce them more. Yeah. We want their production to mm. go yeah. up. Yeah. And then uh, they should just come and see me and for exports to Ghana will not be a problem. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. <clears throat> So at this juncture, we'd like to thank <coughs> Mr. Solomon uh, for such an uh, insightful discussion. Uh, mm. I think out there you are entertained, you are educated, and you now know uh, Botswana through the lens mm. of uh, your console. Uh, we also like to thank you for all the services you are rendering towards Ghanaians, not only Ghanaians, but sometimes I do see some people who are not Ghanaian, they come here mm. and you help them. And uh, <coughs> even our people here, Botswana who love to go to Ghana, they come here and you work on their visas and all of that. We thank you for that, for being a father to all of us. Continue to do the good work and may the good Lord continue to bless and keep you. And if you come to, you want to come to uh, Botswana uh, or you visit Botswana, please make sure that you visit him <laughs> here. And uh, would you mind sharing your contact with us so that uh, those who love to, you know, go to YouTube and search consulates Ghana, mm. they'll be able to contact you uh, for, for business and also uh, to know you. Yes, all my details are there. Right. Okay. When you go to uh, Ghana Consulate in Botswana, okay. it's, it's all there. You can reach out to me. Okay. Yeah, it's, okay. it's all there. Okay. Yeah. So thank you very much once again. <clears throat> uh, we are grateful mm -hmm. for the opportunity to meet you. Uh, May God bless you. Thank you very much for yes, coming to yeah. my office yeah. and uh, to know more about uh, what we do and how we can promote business to Ghana yeah. and promote business from uh, Ghana to this place. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.